It was just great. We were there for each other. Yeah. And Bradley was very good in that scene. He was like crying and I was not ready for Bradley <laughs> to be crying in that scene. I wasn't crying. I wasn't you make almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy Richards and I play James McEwen. And I'm Toby Donovan, I play Isaac. And this is our Attitude cover shoot. Because I got the part really late and like you already, already did a read through of the whole season yeah. before I even found out I was playing James. Um, but obviously we met on season one when I was there for one day. Um, so we had we already had that connection, like the familiar face, when we did our chemistry read. It was such a whirlwind. It, yeah, like, it all happened so quickly that you getting the part that we didn't have much time before the shoot actually started. But you know, it's so easy to be friends with Bradley, and especially <laughs> when you're in an environment like you film set and you're <laughs> with each other all the time for really long days. Yeah, like, you don't you don't have time to hang out outside of that. I always feel like Paris helped as well because obviously we did oh we did our like beefy scenes as such after Paris, so we had that whole week of literally 24 hours of Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was like after that and then we knew. We knew we were friends, so. We it, like, it made the bigger scenes easier for us. Yeah, definitely. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was, we had to do a lot of shooting in a small space of time, so it was very intense and very, yeah, very fast paced, but like just utterly crazy to be on the top of the Eiffel Tower that's been shut down so that you can go and film your little TV show there. Like, in a dressing gown. I was like, I don't think <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, oh no, I've got that's a of picture of me and Brandy in a dressing <laughs> gowns and on the top of the Eiffel Tower. But yeah, it was like wild. Yeah. The, it was a testament to the kind of scope of our audience and, and the power that our show has created that we could do these amazing things. Yeah. I never thought I'd be on the top of the Eiffel Tower. And then that was really eye-opening as well. It's like, like, I knew the show was massive. Like, all my friends were talking about it. It was like going to Paris and then seeing like these like it felt like thousands. It probably wasn't thousands, but like thousands of people like watching us film like yeah. a scene and like waiting for people to meet them. And it was just like, oh my god, I'm a part of something massive. And it was it was really yeah. nice while we were shooting as well to have uh, like probably for the Netflix guys it wasn't great for spoilers, but but us it was like yeah. really nice to have that immediate kind of support of people that were interested in, in what we were making. Yeah. It felt more like doing theatre because there was Club audience there. <laughs> Club, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really cute. It was really special. I think uh, both of us felt the importance of it and uh, there's not really been a story like this on TV before and certainly not in the way that we're telling it that's so examining Isaac's headspace and his discovery and his journey. Yeah, so there was a, a responsibility and a pressure to get it right, but uh, also a real kind of pride in being able to tell this story and, and give representation to people that might not have had it before. I think that's what the whole point of Heart Summer is, and they to, you know, humanize these different people. Absolutely, and did you speak with Alice like about their kind of specific experience in terms of getting ready for the role? Yeah, definitely. Alice was so helpful with stuff like that. And her book, Loveless, that she wrote, it was like, the most incredible resource. I remember I like read it like three times before because I knew since season one me and Alice spoke and that this was the journey we were planning on going on if we got picked up. Um, and so, yeah, I was like really intensely examining Loveless and there's such great descriptions in there of like um, Georgia, the main character, I'd like physicality things that I, I would highlight and try and put in my performance. So like when she kisses this boy, she talks about really tensing up and forming fists with our hands and I tried to kind of carry some of that through to my performance because it's like such a valuable resource. We have a couple of quite heavy scenes that uh, for me were challenging just yeah. emotionally uh, for the character and, and getting in that headspace. There's a really lovely scene of us in the bookshop where Isaac sort of lets James down as gently as he can. It was the end of the day, we were quite tired and it had yeah. been a long day. I think it was really important to do it and to, to be I don't know, it was just great. We were there for each other. Yeah. And Bradley was very good in that scene. He was like crying and I was not ready for Bradley to be crying in that scene. I wasn't crying. You make almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think my, the one that I, it was like similar because I felt like we did all of our like big scenes at the end of the day. Yeah. So, like the corridor one where we have our like kiss. It was like when that, like we were both tired and it was just like, let's do this. And then next thing you know, you're just, it's just happening and it's just nice. And we did that so many like, so many, so many times because we had to have like close-ups etc um and it was a long scene so it was just like 
I mean, that was the most challenging. But they're really, I think they're really nice moments. Oh my God. I hope they translate well in the show. Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't know that um, Isaac's um, on this sexuality journey as such, um, because he's very oblivious of what, like when the last thing we said is that he's oblivious of what Isaac's trying to say to him. Um, I think so for the next, I think I just want James to be there as a, like a platonic friend, because I think they get along really well. So yeah. I think it's nice to have someone like a support for you and for your journey. Yeah. And outside of the friendship group. Like yeah, a little bit. That no, definitely. Could confide in James and things that maybe Charlie or Tao or Al wouldn't understand. People don't realise there is a real skill and talent to book acting. There's like a lot of time that goes into um, making sure that I'm on the right page so that one shot's not at the start of the book and the other's at the end. And um, like walking whilst reading and still knowing where I'm going. I, it's a real skill. I'm going to put it on my CV. I'm yeah. like, workshops, well, well, get yeah. to for workshops, book reading. <laughs> <laughs> Alice and the team all come up with a list. And this season, I've been really grateful to have some input in that as well. So I was making suggestions and yeah, it, it's really nice. I think I, I haven't read them all for sure because some of them are huge. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a really nice. Uh, insight into the character I think you know immediately people can look at him and understand something about him based on what he's reading it always, yeah. it always ties into either what's going on in the episode or something about Isaac my friend was a fan of like the comics they would always be like read them read them I was like yeah yeah I will I will and then I read like I think I read the first one and I loved it but then I kind of just that was that was my journey <laughs> with the books because I don't I like to read but I think books is like, I, I like my favorite book of Alice's was when you said like, Loveless. Love, like, I prefer right. to read like a book, um, which is, so yeah, I love Alice's work and beforehand, but I didn't have much, I didn't, have, didn't know much about yeah. it before. Yeah, I, I didn't have a clue. I like didn't even know what they were, that they existed. Then I got the audition and I read them all and was just like, wow, yeah, this is really cool that this exists. And I really wanted to be a part of it. Yeah. And here we are. Really? <laughs> no, Jacob, probably not. I, I reckon it was me because um, Kit and Will are very good at pulling faces whenever they're not on yeah. camera. So I always got caught laughing at that. It was, it was the um, the truth or dare scene. Yeah. Because basically, obviously, when you do a close up, it'd be a close up and then <laughs> Toby would be on Someone the other side. the camera for your eye line. Um, and he would just be doing weird faces. But I think I did it to you. I think I was a bit like, we, yeah. I went out there that day and did it back to you. We're not always that silly. We are professional, but <laughs> sometimes we have to be. Lots of things I love about them. I always really love to hear people's people's stories and how they connected with the show. I think that's really special. Um, and often, not always, but often they are very funny on Twitter. There's lots of like good memes of the show that make me giggle or when they like really zoom in on something that I hadn't even noticed and I was in the room. That makes me laugh. 